The Israelites once again disobeyed God, so God let the Philistines rule over them. One day, the angel of the Lord told a husband and wife that they would have a son who would save the Israelites from the Philistines. God had a special instruction for their son. He should never cut his hair. The woman had a baby, and she named him Samson. God made Samson strong. When Samson grew up, he saw a Philistine woman and wanted to marry her. He and his parents went to meet her. On the journey, a lion jumped out at Samson. Samson killed the lion. Later, some bees had made honey in the lion's body. Samson ate some of the honey and gave some to his parents. Philistine men came to Samson's wedding. Samson told them a riddle. Out of the eater came something to eat, and out of the strong came something sweet. The riddle was about the lion and the honey, but the men could not figure it out. They asked Samson's bride for help. She told the men the answer. Samson was angry, and he left his wife. When he went back to get her, she was gone. Samson was so upset that he burned the Philistines' fields. This made the Philistines angry. Samson escaped to another city, where he fell in love with a woman named Delilah. The Philistines gave Delilah money to find out why Samson was so strong. Samson told Delilah, if you tie me up with seven fresh bowstrings, I will be weak. But that was not true. Then Samson said, if you tie me up with new rope, I will be weak. But that was not true either. So Samson said, if you weave my hair into a loom, I will be weak. Another lie. Finally, Samson told Delilah the truth. If you cut my hair, I will not have my strength. So when Samson was sleeping, a Philistine man cut his hair. Delilah shouted, Samson, wake up. The Philistines are here to kill you. Samson wasn't strong anymore. The Philistines grabbed him and took him away in chains. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two pillars in their temple. Samson cried out to God, Lord, strengthen me once more. So God strengthened Samson. Samson pushed on the pillars and collapsed the temple. Samson and everyone in the temple died, but Samson had saved the Israelites from the Philistines. Samson's sin led to his own death, but God used his death to save the Israelites from their enemies. Samson's story reminds us of Jesus. Jesus never sinned, but God sent him to die on the cross and rise again to rescue people from sin and give them eternal life.